up? Welcome back to the channel. Super fired up for today's video. Got insurance back on the car, ready to hit the streets, do some more cruising. Uh, we got racing coming up in about a month or so. We're all ready for that too. Uh, but you know, normally I don't insure the car for about another month or so, but it's just been so nice out. It's all together. So why not insure it? Hit the streets. Pretty stoked for this race season coming up though. Should be about another month away. Uh, hearing lots of chatter from the track. Everything's getting prepped out there. So really stoked on that. We got the cage in the car now, so we're gonna be able to turn this thing all the way up and really hammer on. I got more stuff I'm working on too, more upgrades, constantly trying to go faster, even though we did so much this winter, just keep pushing the project forward. Uh, but it's a nice day out. I'm gonna do a little walk through the car, show you guys everything I've done over winter. So that big winter upgrade mostly was, of course, the cage that we had done. I still have yet to uh, get it certified. A couple guys have been questioning the down bars, and, you know, honestly, I'm not 100% sure that's going to pass. So if it is an issue, I can always get it corrected. Um, but I'm looking to get it certified in May, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, another big thing I did, added that two-step. So now we can really load this thing up on the line and get really accurate launching. Uh, I got the console, you guys know that. I just got a little mod I'm gonna do on that shifter still. Uh, I have picked up some belts, but I gotta attach them to the rear bar still. Well, I got them in there actually, but they're just hanging in the middle. I need to restrain them um, a little bit to make sure that they line up properly over top of the shoulder. So something I'm still working on. And then coming around to the engine. I uh, haven't done any improvements to the engine um, itself. Same build from last year, that 530 horsepower. But we have deleted the fan in front, running on just the electric guy in there. Uh, it used to run on a temperature switch. Uh, I changed that over to just this little manual guy right there. And the other big thing we did, we did remove the battery and relocate it to the back of the car and then cleaned up all the wiring, moved the starter relay. Uh, the MSD box, all that's under the dash. You can see that on the channel. But she's all ready to go, man. Beauty day out, pretty stoked. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention too, uh, if you guys are subscribers or even if you're new to the channel, I have improved my channel on YouTube. I've created proper playlists, so you'll find build stuff, race day video, cruising stuff, and uh, dyno engine stuff, which is awesome. Because I know you guys are probably tuning in after that big block we saw up on the dyno last weekend. So awesome to see. Uh, hopefully we get back up there at Hemi. I've been talking to Pete, he's gonna have us back up there. So stay tuned for more of that stuff, but enough chatter, let's hit the street. Give you guys a mandatory walk around before we head out here. It's actually pretty dirty. She's been in uh, the garage for six months. So definitely gonna give her a wash when we get back. Got good temp in her, got my little fan on, we're good there. Shut the garage, got the new rear view too, I don't know if you can see that, Let's see how that goes. Ah, it seems kinda loose, might have to play with that.
guys ask too, what is it weigh? And I'm not exactly sure. It's pretty bonus, this is just right here. It's like 1590 kilograms. I'll convert that and let you guys know what it is in pounds. Yeah. that's going to close it up with this video guys thanks for coming on the ride with me great first day with the car on the road again uh, no problems whatsoever the new fan was working great it's pretty cool so we're going to monitor that through the summer when it does get hotter but so far so good just got to adjust that mirror a little bit because it comes loose it seems like so figure that out but no major problems at all and it was great to get some uh get some info on the car about what she weighs throw it on the scales there so uh, 1590 kgs actually works up to 3505 pounds so she's definitely put on a little weight this winter all that cage work that pipes pretty heavy but uh, you know it is what it is got to happen still very still very light for uh, the kind of horsepower it's making so it's good horsepower to weight ratio still stoked on that so we got lots more coming we're gonna do some more cruising we got uh, Mopar meetups coming up drag racing's coming your way probably get back in that dyno soon but thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time I think I'm ready for a beer. I'm gonna give this thing a wash.